In this video, we customise the Windows 10 Start menu. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we transform our Windows 10 Start menu with simple cosmetic tweaks and additional functionality. We begin by removing suggestions from the menu, essentially an advertising feature which we've never found useful, in this instance promoting the sticky notes feature. To remove it, we simply right click for a menu, which offers two options, and here we can select either don't show this suggestion, which removes this suggestion only, whilst leaving open the option for future suggestions to appear, or turn off all suggestions, which presents the opportunity to disable the feature completely. With our suggestion cleared, it's worth noting that we don't have to wait for a suggestion to appear in order to make these changes, and we can click the start button at any time and type start, clicking start settings from the list which appears. After the splash screen, we are taken to the start menu settings, where clicking to turn this setting to the off position removes any future appearances of suggested items. Whilst we're in these settings, let's look at some of the other ways we can configure our start menu. By default, Windows will show a list of apps in the start menu, and here it is. If you'd prefer to remove this list, toggling this option to the off position removes the list by default. Note that once we've hidden the app list in settings, we can temporarily recover it by clicking this icon and return purely to tiles by clicking the icon above. We can also revert to displaying the list by default, simply by returning the app list slider to the on position. We can improve our productivity by moving our most used apps to the top of the menu for quick access, and sliding this setting to the on position places our most used apps within easy reach. The start menu can be expanded to fill the full screen, with an appearance similar to that of tablet mode, by turning on Use Start Full Screen, and here we see the start menu fully occupying the screen. At the bottom of the screen is a hyperlink, enabling us to choose which folders appear on start, and clicking it takes us to a choice of folders, with settings, documents and pictures enabled by default. Returning to our start menu, we expand to reveal settings, documents and pictures folder shortcuts. Returning to the settings screen, we enable downloads, and when we next click the start button, we see an extra icon in the start menu. Expanding reveals it to be the link to our downloads, and clicking it takes us directly to our downloads folder. Now we move the sliders for our network and personal folder into the on position, adding two further icons to the start menu, which we expand to reveal network and personal folder shortcuts. Here we click the personal folder shortcut to immediately access our user directories. We can also make cosmetic changes to the start menu, and here we'll make it brighter. We click the start button and type themes, clicking on themes and related settings. In the dialog which appears, we scroll down to change theme. Our default is Windows, and we change this to Windows Light. Doing so changes the taskbar to the light theme. We close the themes dialog, returning us to the desktop, and when we click the start button, we see that the start menu has now also adopted the light theme. We can revert to the dark theme at any time by reselecting Windows at the theme dialog. There are also a number of pre-installed apps and games on the start menu, which we may wish to remove. The process is as simple as right clicking and selecting the option to uninstall. We are reminded that the app and its data will be lost, and are prompted for confirmation, where we again simply click uninstall. With that, the app is gone. If we suddenly regret purging Candy Crush, or any other app, it can be reinstalled by clicking on the Microsoft Store tile which loads the store. At the store front, we click the three horizontal dots in the upper right, and from the menu which appears, we select My Library. Here we see a list of apps which are associated with our account, either having been purchased or installed by default, but which are not currently installed. In this instance, we click Install next to Candy Crush Saga, which begins the download. On completion, we can immediately launch from one of two locations. On this occasion, the tile hasn't been returned to its previous position. To rectify this, we scroll down the apps list on the left, until we see Candy Crush Saga, which we right click. From the menu which appears, we select Pin to Start. A tile appears to the right. To return the tile to its original position, we simply click and drag. Be sure to check out our back catalogue for more tutorials, and subscribe for our future projects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.